As you can see, we're jumping right into this. There's a couple things that's gone down. I'll talk about those in a second, but ultimately it doesn't really matter because all of these smallest nations on the earth are gonna take over the map. I think I've given them a bunch of bonuses. I don't want to give them away just yet, but uh, I'm sure you can already guess a few. But I will say there are multiple places that are just like Uruguay, like with way too many divisions. So they're gonna take over the whole map. This is gonna be a weird one. The biggest thing that's happened so far is the British have decolonized. I don't know why, but it doesn't really matter. Like I said, I mean, the great powers aren't really gonna have much of an impact here for once, I guess. The Dominican Republic is the only buffed out small nation that has already taken over someone, but I mean, their big issues, they kind of got to get off this island, which I think is still going to be kind of a big challenge. And here's the next war. So obviously Luxembourg's going to be a part of this and they're going after Belgium. This is big because, you know, that's going to give them access to the sea. I don't really know how easy it's going to, well, I mean, I, I knew it was going to be easy, but they're, okay, yeah, they're grabbing tiles left and right. <laughs> Okay, good. I mean, just making sure. That's perfect. Great job, guys. There's no starting factions because I actually didn't want the bigger places to just, like, ride on the success of the smaller buffed out nations, which is weird to say, I know. But uh, also, yeah, they, they took everything, so everything's going according to plan. Tenno Tuba looks like it's going to be the next place to strike. They're going to go after Mongolia, but, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention, which this is kind of a big deal, uh, the Mongolians were puppeted by Japan. That's going to make their job a lot Harder. I think they should be still fine, but yeah, they're gonna have to fight through a lot. So let's see how it goes. I mean, this is obviously gonna be like the biggest challenge so far, because I think they're gonna have to fight like four different countries right now. Oh, oh yeah, but uh, the Mongols don't have anything. That's right, because they got pretty much just dominated by anime land, so it is gonna be the Japanese that's gonna have to carry the team. And things have gotten even worse since more places have decided to join in. I think Tanutuva attempted to help out Mao, and that's not really gonna work out. Now, they might lose. I don't think so. What would be... Just as worse, though, is if they kind of get into, like, a stalemate and they don't move much more than this. That's pretty much effectively going to kill them off. And now the Thunder Dragon Empire begins to mobilize. Against India, they should be fine. Yep, Bhutan is a part of the group. Albania must be playing a whole lot of Uno or something because uh, that is a perfect reverse card right there. That is actually kind of incredible. Did they hit him up with the draw 4-2? The fascist Dragon Empire has done kind of the same thing, taken all of Indian states and also puppeted these islands out here, which is kind of nice. Albania did not do the same thing. They just took all of it, which is understandable. Now, Tenno 2 is actually doing all right. They are making progress, slight progress, not a whole lot. So, I mean, every little piece of land helps, I'm sure. I, I don't know. I think it's going to take them a while, though. Things are looking all crazy in Europe. Not only is Germany doing their thing, but just with this nice purple color in the south, and then we got Luxembourg, I guess, trying to do this. I mean, they gotta do more. This is not enough. They're gonna get showed up here. Argentina is now dead, which means uh, everyone else out here in South America definitely needs to worry, which, I mean, I haven't talked about the other couple members that could maybe do something. I mean, Haiti still hasn't gotten off this island, and I don't think they will. We'll see what the others do. Qatar is next, as they are about to take over the entire kind of Arabian Peninsula. I mean, they got a little bit more to go, but they definitely attacked the right person and they're doing fine here. Poland is now trying to resist Article 13 or whatever it's called now. I don't I don't really know, but please for the internet, use my spirit energy. Oh, and luckily Benny Lux has joined in. Kind of Benny Lux. They're just what are they now? Lux. They're N E and and Lux. There's no Benny in that because Belgium's dead. Are the Dutch really doing anything here? Because uh I I mean I okay, a little bit. A, a little bit, but <laughs> Luxembourg, I think, is really carrying the team on their back. Oh, so it is possible for these super buffed out nations to lose. Tanutuva, unfortunately, just couldn't resist. I mean, it was really hard. They were fighting like five different nations at the start. And now that they have this little team that's formed, they should be fine taking out China because, yeah, I don't think they stand much of a chance. They don't have any friends. They could get some friends. That doesn't really matter, though. France with communists, by the way. Not that that matters at all, but, uh, I mean... Maybe, uh, again, because we saw someone lose, I guess some more small nations could maybe take an L. Now, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I can't believe this is about to go down. Uh, little old Belize is taking on Mexico and the U.S. I don't know how powerful they are. They're not that powerful, but at the same time, you never know. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a real tough one. I mean, they immediately grabbed basically the Yucatan Peninsula, but that's because America probably hasn't made it down here yet, I think. And the world war is over. Kind of. It, that was not a world war at all. It was like a continental war. But yeah, uh, Poland got some stuff. Not as much as Luxembourg, though. Uh, also, for some reason, the UK puppeted Sweden. I don't know how that happened. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, okay. I like these borders. Uruguay is just slowly making their way up through all of South America. I thought they'd go after Brazil next, which they probably are now. But yeah, they took out Chile and Paraguay. Maybe they'll go after Peru next. They, they consolidated a bit by taking out Bolivia. That actually kind of helps. So let's see how this goes. Um, I don't know if France is going to have any friends, but reorganize like. 
Shakespearean free state, yeah, yeah that, that's gonna be a, a tough one. I can't believe I said that. Yeah, because here in the very beginning, they're just gonna roll over Africa. I don't think France is really ready for this at all. And I mean, we'll see. They better hope they don't get their like continental stuff taken because that is definitely possible. I, I I think it'll happen actually. There's so far two pretty strong teams, this Polish faction. And I mean, they're looking all right. I guess if no one else joins in, it's not that bad. And then East Asia, of course, Japan's doing their thing. They haven't taken out China yet though. So Surprisingly, I don't know what's going on. Now that's kind of shocking. Not the fact that Franco joined a democratic team, which is kind of weird either way, but uh, they did get the Dragon Empire. And I guess it makes sense. That's like the British team and, and they have all of India. Oh, and that would be why. Okay, so maybe the Soviets will let the French in now, which doesn't matter because Liberia, yeah, Liberia is doing their thing. But uh, yeah, that explains a lot. As well as El Salvador is here to save the day. Kind of. Um, I don't think Belize was really ready for this, and uh, now the other, like, buffed out Central American place is gonna help a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna be enough, though. I mean, obviously the U.S. is super powerful. Maybe Haiti should join in. I don't know what they're doing over here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I totally forgot that Luxembourg is obviously communist. Rosa Luxembourg. So they're helping out France and the Soviets. I mean, they can't send that many troops. Not unless they join in. They won't really make a difference. I think time's just about up for the Chinese, or a majority of the Chinese. This warlord took over, and the problem was he's at war with other warlords, uh, as well as Siam. I mean, not that that makes a difference. But yeah, every little bit counts. And now things are getting spicy. So I... Don't know why or how this ha well actually this second thing explains so japan declared war on the french for some reason because i think the french were guaranteeing uh, someone in the pacific yeah it might have something to do with this or i don't know i mean the french have their territories over here oh yeah I, I don't know okay i try my best to figure this out i think the japanese are just causing the world to blow up basically so uh now these two are on their side uh the americans have formed the north american entente there's a couple people in Europe. Oh, okay, just the Dutch then. Anyone else that joined in? No. Oh, yeah, these guys. Okay, yeah, figures. There we go. That's lovely when the game just kind of makes everything a whole lot cleaner. So because the Soviets joined the Japanese, I don't know why it doesn't really matter. Uh, they pulled in the Polish team. So basically, it's this blue team and the pink team versus the Japanese. And um, new members are joining all the time. I guess Venezuela wanted to help out. But here's the thing, though. The two most powerful here in the heart of Europe haven't chosen a side yet. Uh, oh. Okay, well, never mind. I need to shut up. Well, that is, I don't even know why they joined that. What does that mean? And we got a nuke. Okay, so nukes are being dropped because, again, the small places have... I think that means Luxembourg joined in, right? Pretty sure. Fascist El Salvador is now getting ready to take over all of Mexico. So they're going to have a pretty big threat here in the U.S. I don't know. I don't know how they're doing this, but I think... Well, it depends on how much Americans are still in North America. Maybe they're out fighting other places. So because all the small nations are really divided uh, among this massive world war, I don't know what's going to happen. I thought all the small nations would... Well, they had a lot of time, but they didn't do it enough. I thought they'd take over everything. They're going to start taking each other down now, unfortunately. And here's another nuke for you. And this one was not by Luxembourg, I think. Uh... And this also wasn't another Chernobyl, even though it's the Soviets, they, they do that. No, I think this latest one is probably from Albania, because they've picked a side now. Um, so that is kind of a big deal, I think. I mean, maybe that solidifies them winning in the East. I don't know what's going to happen in Africa, though. This actually means for the first time, two, like, OP small places are going to be going at each other. Just kind of face to face i mean there it's happening a little bit but here's like the first major front well there you go dominican republic you finally decided to join in i don't know why you have all your troops out this way you should probably come back home but all right at least they're participating a little bit oh yeah also keep in mind that as time goes by small places that i've buffed out will have less and less of an advantage because i've basically gave them all research it's now 1941 so the rest of the world's starting to catch up what's the dragon empire been doing this whole time i know that they're somewhat helping out china i think maybe they've got troops over here but i haven't really noticed much is burma involved no you just want to attack him i guess oh no never mind they are involved okay when the hell did that happen i have not paid attention slowly around the world the japanese faction is falling uh, japan's gonna be the hardest one to take down because the whole island thing but uh, luckily all these places got some nukes and while the world is on fire for some reason, Austria feels like this is a good time to attack the Swiss. I don't know. I mean, it seems like a terrible idea, but whatever. Qatar has also been taken out. I don't think it was by the Dutch, but this is interesting borders, I, I will say. They're not going to keep it, man. I, I like it. And Jamaica joined in. That's going to make a huge difference right there. Not that I buff them out or anything. I just really like Jamaica. Kind of funny how as time's gone by, a lot of these places have joined this thing 
which is like a non-democratic faction, I believe. Uh, I mean, even uh, Bhutan doing it now. Wow, this is really growing here. Oh, for some reason, a lot of you guys are at war with China. I didn't know about that. Why? That seems like a waste, but whatever. Wow, did not expect that. For some reason, these are the two that normally do this. Like. If you've been paying attention, like, these are the two that are always taken, like, Soviet territory. Lots of places were puppeted, though, and I would not be surprised if a lot of that is Luxembourg or some of the other, like, communist powers. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't know how this happened, but those puppets didn't go to places that I thought they would go. They went to Romania and Poland, just like, like all the territory did. Well, that's a twist. The Polish even got some territory here in Africa, for some reason, just because... Why not? Um, a lot of the small nations are gone. Romania has... Oh my gosh. That is definitely a sight you don't see every day. Romania being the hermit kingdom, I guess, with the supreme ruler. I, I might actually understand that. And now you decide to do something. Okay. Uh, Brazil actually just declared war on the Dutch, too. So this will probably get pulled into, like, a team war. Also, uh, should we be afraid, Uruguay? Why do you have this exact number? Well, it's basically all said and done, and I guess the small states that have improved the most, that look the strongest, is Bhutan and the demonic land. Whatever, I don't know why they still have that number of divisions, whatever. Uh, but, also don't underestimate Luxembourg. Luxembourg has, I, I actually think they'd probably defeat Poland. Maybe Poland and Romania? I don't know about that, because time is, it's starting to get later and later, so I don't know how much of an advantage they have. Albania's okay too, but not quite on the same level. Also, one other thing uh, I didn't get to mention because they didn't do much. Uganda was uh, buffed as well. They didn't do anything and yeah, they got taken over. Uh, also, the only person that really didn't do anything was Iceland because I think Uganda took some states. How good are they doing, by the way? Oh, not that good at all. Maybe that's why they decided to not do anything. They're probably just waiting for a plague to break out just so they could shut down their ports. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Big thanks to LVC, Elijah Senpai, Bruce Vacation, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, King Solomon, Ben Mo, Galley, Tanner of the Nazareth, Free Cruise, Mr. Perkelly, Cooter Donkey, Brandon Hinkle, Destiny F 9000, Mega Fat Boy, a Sneaky Gengar, Battle Buddy 1847, James Miller, Mike S is gay, Sleeper 56, Huey Long Dong, and Alfonso M6, Millitime, Double Books, KB, my main man, Manny, Nikonagawa, Patchy 202, Buff Guatemala.